Namaste, Stephanie Snyder here with you. This is Slayer, who does not like to be left out of the room, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, and before we begin, just a reminder, I've just returned from our yoga retreat in Mexico, and I am preparing for teacher training that's coming up. So I also travel and teach. If you would like to practice with me in real life, then check out my website, stephaniesnyder.com or lovestoryyoga.com. That's our studio here in San Francisco. All right, so this practice is going to focus on two things. One is opening the inner groins. The other is strengthening the outer hips. And one can't really happen effectively without the other. Also, both of those actions are required for a lot of the more advanced poses that we um, try to engage. So arm balances, some of the inversions, things like that. So we're gonna work on those two things and they complement each other. That's the plan for today. Let's begin. Hands together in front of the heart. Turn the gaze toward the heart with the eyes closed. And just give yourself this moment to settle in to really have gratitude for this time that we can spend together and with the practice together. May the work we do here be a great benefit for us and for everyone everywhere. Okay, gently open the eyes, release the hands. We'll begin in tabletop. So you can come onto the hands and knees. And as you come onto the hands and knees, you want the heels of the hands under the shoulders and the knees right under the hips, okay? So beginning in bird dog, inhale, extend the left leg up and back. Slay or stop. Extend the left leg up and back. Reach the right arm forward. This is a little bit of core activation, so inhale, extend. Exhale, coil up, bring the knee and the elbow towards each other but actually bring the right elbow outside the left knee. So that's really activating the obliques. Same thing, inhale, extend. Exhale, coil up. You can tuck the chin, bring the right elbow outside the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coil up. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, coil, you're activating the inner groin. Inhale, extend, one more time. Exhale, coil up. Okay, inhale, extend, and exhale back to tabletop. Bring the left knee down and the right hand down. Inhale, right leg up and back, and the left arm reaches forward. So this is a lateral extension. Inhale here, exhale, coil up, left elbow outside, right knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, coil, pull in. Inhale, reach, exhale, activate. Two more, inhale, open, exhale, activate and engage. One more time, inhale, extend, exhale, coil up. Good, inhale, extend this last time, and exhale, bring the hands and knees down. Let's come into a Dome Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. So the hands are forward, the feet are back, sit bones are really, really high. And give yourself, you know, Let's take three breaths here. In downward facing dog. One more Ujjayi breath. Okay, listen, inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, float the right foot forward. Bring the left knee down and pivot toward the left long side edge of the mat. Okay, straighten the right leg. The right toes point toward the long side edge. And you'll reach the hands forward. So the upper body is looking like downward facing dog. And the lower body is in like a parigasana. So here we want the left thigh to be vertical. And the right foot is close enough in to the left knee that you can really ground the right foot. Reach the arms long. And then from here, press back and spread the sit bones back and apart. And you may feel the inner right groin here as a stretch and just rock forward a little bit and then press the sit bones back and up. 
Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, press back, sit bones wide. Inhale, rock forward, walk the hands under the shoulders, pivot toward the front end of the mat. Okay, now flex the right foot, kick the left foot back, Ardha Hanumanasana. So you can straighten the right leg a lot, fingertips or hands on blocks, lift the spine long, and then lengthen the spine forward over the right leg and unlocking the back of the right knee. So you're breathing into the hamstrings mostly here. Okay, bend the right knee, let the hips come forward for a breath. Hands forward, step back, a Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, float the left foot forward. So same thing on the other side. Bring the right knee down. Pivot toward the right long side edge of the mat. Kick the right foot directly behind the right knee and straighten the left leg. And the left foot's close enough in that the whole left leg can be really engaged. Walk the hands forward, kind of like down dog. And then press back, sit bones back and apart. Inhale, rock forward a little bit. Exhale, press back. You're just working your way into a deeper stretch in that left inner groin. Inhale, rock forward, neutral spine. Exhale, press back slightly. Feel that inner left thigh, inner left hamstring, inner left groin. One more inhale. And exhale, press back. Okay, inhale to a neutral spine. And exhale, pivot toward the front end of the mat again. Kick the right foot behind the right knee. Flex the left foot. Ardha Hanumanasana. So it's just a hamstring stretch. Reach long through the inner left heel. So take a look at the left foot. Make sure it's not sickled in, but it's long. And then we're stretching through the back of the left leg without locking the left knee. Collarbones wide, spine long. Okay, bend the left knee, let the hips come forward a little bit, fingertips or hands on blocks. And exhale, go back, Adomukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Big inhale here. And at the end of the exhale, you can bend the knees and come onto the back. So coming onto the back, <clears throat> bring the hands behind the head, extend the legs up toward the sky. And we'll come into a hip opener here. So inhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Exhale, like Baddha Konasana legs, the inner feet stay together, the knees go wide, and the elbows come in toward the inner knees. Inhale, extend the legs straight up. Exhale, Baddha Konasana legs, pull the belly in. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, coil. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coil. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coil. Three more. Inhale, squeeze the legs straight. Exhale, open the knees and coil. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coil. Inhale, reach. Exhale, coil up. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coil. Pause here, lift the heart a little higher. Reach the arms through the legs. Pull the belly in and cross the ankles, release the arms, and rock forward into plank pose. So the hands are under the shoulders, the legs are strong, and there's a plumb line, so there's no saggy hips, okay? Lengthen the sit bones toward the heels, pull the belly in. Stay for the inhale, and exhale, go back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, bring the knees down again. Coming into our bird dog with another variation. Now we're gonna really start to wake up the outer hips, okay? Inhale, the right leg back. Exhale, sorry, the left leg back. The right arm forward. Now inhale, really reach, and then exhale. Draw, draw the right sh um, elbow back, like a shoulder shrug, and kick the left leg out to the side. Keep the foot as high as the hip. Got it? Inhale, reach. Vertically, exhale, squeeze laterally. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, activate that outer left hip. I know. Inhale, reach. Exhale, activate. Pause here. Stay for the inhale. Lift the left leg higher on the exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands and knees. Good job. Down dog. Go back. Adomukha Swanasana. And inhale forward to plank. Exhale, bring the knees down. Suppose we ought to do the other side. All right. So let's reach the right leg out. And the left arm forward. Inhale, get long. Exhale, squeeze left elbow toward left hip and reach right leg out to the right. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze laterally. Keep that right leg high. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. One more. Exhale, squeeze. Lift the leg, lift the leg, lift the leg. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands and knees. Downward facing dog. Go back. Big inhale. And a complete exhale. Okay, now bend the knees, step or jump through. Come onto the back again. Okay, we'll do straddle abs. I'm gonna turn across my mat just for space-wise, but you can stay where you are. Lie in the back, bring the legs up toward the sky. Hands behind the head. Inhale. On the exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Okay, now listen, inhale, reach the legs out wide in a straddle. Exhale, bring the legs together, cross right ankle in front of left and twist to the right. Inhale, extend the legs in a straddle. Exhale, left ankle in front of right, twist to the left. Just like that, inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, cross and twist to the right. Inhale, extend. Exhale, go to the left. Inhale, extend, reach. Exhale, cross, squeeze the inner ankles. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist to the left, squeeze inner thighs. Inhale, extend, activate the outer hips. Exhale, twist to the right. One more, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, extend the legs. Stay there, you're gonna straddle. Exhale, lift the heart. Inhale, lift down halfway. Exhale, lift the heart. Inhale, come down halfway. Exhale, lift. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, lift. Squeeze the legs together. Hug the knees into the chest. Good job. Stay where you are. Hugging the knees into the chest. Now cross the ankles and rock your way through into downward facing dog. Adomukashwanasana, I'll meet you there. In downward facing dog. Okay, stay in down dog. Kick the sit bones towards the sky. Lengthen side body, lengthen spine. Inhale, forward to plank pose, rock forward and look forward. Exhale, chaturanga, come all the way down to the belly, untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart. And exhale, adomukha, and go all the way back. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Okay, this one's kind of weird, kind of fun. Bend the knees like Baddha Konasana, but you're on the belly. The feet are touching, okay? Stack the hands and bring the forehead to the hands. Okay, stay for the inhale. On the exhale, lift thighs. So you can keep the inner edges of the feet together and knees as far apart as they'll go. Okay, and you're lifting the thighs. So inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Squeeze the buttocks. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, knees wide. Exhale, lift. Keep the knees as wide as you can. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Three more, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, lift, one more time, inhale, exhale, lift, and release, kick the feet straight back, cobra pose, 
Hands under shoulders, lift the heart, inhale. And exhale, go back, downward facing dog. So coming to down dog, hips are high. Sink the heels towards the floor, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Give yourself another couple of deep breaths. That's a lot of energy already around the outer hips, inner thighs, and also where the glutes meet the hamstrings. That intersection is really important. All right, let's flow a little bit. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right foot forward. Float the right foot forward, bring the left knee down, low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, word of the mukha, up dog. Exhale, adho mukha, shanasana, go back. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Low lunge, inhale, reach the arms up. Lift the belly, the heart, and the gaze. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank on the inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha, and go back. Inhale, right leg up and back. We'll add on to that. Exhale, right foot forward. Low lunge, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Pivot toward the left. Kick the left foot behind the left knee, just like we did earlier. Straighten the right leg. Turn the right toes toward the long side edge of the mat. Reverse Parigasana, left hand to the back of the mat. Right arm reaches up and over. And all this is is a big side stretch through the right side. Inhale here, and now listen. Exhale, shoulder shrug with the right elbow. Lift the right leg. There's that upper hip. Inhale, extend the arm, plant the foot. Exhale, activate the right side. Inhale, extend. One more. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come all the way up to a T. Pivot toward the front end of the mat. Inhale, plank pose. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, word of the Mukha, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Shwanasana, downward facing dog. All right, fine, down dog here. Let's try the other side, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge. Inhale, reach, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands down, pivot toward the right side edge of the mat. Kick the right foot behind the right heel, straighten the left leg. Bring the right hand to the back end of the mat. Reach the left arm over. The left ear, long side bend first. Inhale. Keep the heart turned up. Exhale. Squeeze left elbow to left hip and lift left leg. Parallel to the floor. Inhale, extend. Exhale, activate. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. One more, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, inhale, extend. Stay for the exhale, lengthen the left side body. Inhale up to a T, and exhale, pivot toward the front end of the mat. Step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, word of the Mukha, and exhale, Adho Mukha. Go back to down dog, and I'll meet you there. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right foot forward. Virabhadrasana in two, spin the left heel down. Inhale to come up. So Virabhadrasana in two, generally the right, the right heel lines up with the arch of the left foot, okay? When you're looking at the alignment of your pose, press the right knee back toward the back body and pause. Hold steady here. One more breath, gaze over the right fingertips. And then inhale, straighten the right leg. Keep a long stance. The left toes are pointed toward the long side edge of the mat, okay? So the legs are really, purposefully really wide. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. Exhale, right hand to right shin or ankle. 
Inhale, left arm reaches up, Uttita Trikonasan. Stay here, or if the right fingertips can touch the floor, do that, and bring the right fingertips behind the right leg. Now dig the inner right heel down to lengthen the inside line of the right leg, and send the outer right hip up and back, okay? Nice deep breath here. Breathing into the inner right leg. Unlock the right knee. And exhale, hands down. Step back. Chaturanga Nandrasan. Inhale, word of the mukha. Open the heart wide in the collarbones. Exhale, the mukha. Go back and breathe it out. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward. Virabhadrasana two, spin the right heel down and reach the arms wide. Okay, so notice the top of the pelvis is parallel to the floor. You're not dipping the hips to the left at all. Oh, reach the arms wide. Pause here, hold steady. Spine is long. Okay, now keep the feet really wide. Straighten the left leg, Uttita Trikonasana, reach forward through the left arm. Exhale, left hand to shin or ankle. Inhale, right arm reaches up. And you'll stay there in Uttita Trikonasana. Well, I scoop a little more. You stay there. You stay there. Here. Try to stay there. Okay, so you're feeling for lengthening, especially. The inner left leg, okay? <clears throat> left hand can come down to the floor if it'll reach. Feel the inner left hamstring, left groin. Dig the inner left heel down as you kick the outer left hip up and back. And exhale, hands down. Step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha. Exhale, <clears throat> Adho Mukha Shwanasana, go back. Okay, give it a breath here. Integrating that feel, the inner legs lengthen. Okay, so the sit bones go up and back. The inner legs, starting from the pelvic floor, go down to the inner knee, down to the inner heel and lengthen. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right foot forward. Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to rise, come on back up. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Now scoot the left foot a little closer this time to the right foot. Uchita Trikonasana to transition. Reach forward with the right arm, right hand down, left arm up. Stay on the right fingertips, or you can also put a block under the right hand, okay? From Uchita Trikonasana, we transition into Ardha Chandrasana. Walk the right hand forward and to the right of the front foot, lift the left leg. And for today, in our purpose today, lift the left leg as high as it'll go. Now that's gonna activate the outer left hip and lengthen the inner left and inner right groin. Turn the heart up. Ooh, okay, hands down. Step back, Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale to open the heart, Urdha the Mukha Shwanasana. Exhale, Adomuka. Go back and breathe it out. Other side, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward, find Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, rise. Okay, pause here. Reach the arms. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Scoot the right foot in a little closer. Reach long through the left side, Uchita Trikonasana. Left fingertips down, right arm reaches up. Spread your wings, open the heart. Now gaze at the floor, keep the heart open, rock the weight forward, come on to the left fingertips. Ardha Chandrasana, standing on the left leg. Okay, then lift the right leg as high as it'll go, and you might start to feel the outer right hip. And you might feel also a big stretch through the inner left hamstring and groin. The heart turned up. And exhale, hands down. Step back, turn to the nothing. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Shwanasana. 
Exhale, don't look at Swanasan. Go back. All right, listen. Inhale, right leg up and back. This is a little bit different. Flex the right foot. Take the right leg out to the right, just like you did in bird dog. Take the right leg out to the right, parallel to the hip. Then step the right foot forward in between the hands. Hop the left heel in and down, Parsvottanasan. Hug the outer right hip back. Scoop the collarbones forward, inhaling. And exhale, fold over the right leg. Stay there, or if you're more flexible, walk the hands back toward the back of the mat. Stay for another breath. Inhale, look forward, walk the hands under the shoulders. Okay, so now we're gonna go into an IT band stretch, also opening through the outer hip. Turn both sets of toes to the right. So now the right thigh is crossed in front of the left thigh. And you can fold forward over the right thigh. Full deep breath here. Okay, the knees are unlocked. And then you'll turn back toward the left, all the way into prasarta. So keep turning toward the left side, long edge of the mat. Take the feet a little further apart. Make sure the heels are in the same place on each side. And fold. You can bend the elbows. Walk the hands back. Keep the spine as long as possible. Send the inner thighs back and apart. Lengthen the spine. So feel the back of the spine cascade into the front of the spine and the middle spine lengthen. Inhale, walk the hands under the shoulders. Look forward, high. Exhale, pivot toward the front end of the mat. Step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, word of Mukha. And exhale, Adho Mukha. Go back. Inhale, left leg up and back. Flex the foot. Exhale, bring the left leg out to the left. Hover here. Use that outer left hip. And then step the left foot forward in between the hands. Parsvottanasana, hop the right heel in. Draw that outer left hip back so the hips are squared. You can spill the belly toward the heart and the heart forward toward the front of the mat. And then exhale, fold over the left leg. Parsvottanasana. And if you're a little more flexible, walk the fingertips back as long as you're not rounding the back too much. You can also have hands on blocks, of course. Okay, so now we're going to go into the IT band stretch. Turn both sets of toes toward the left. And you can hop the feet a little closer together if you need to, okay? So left thigh is in front of right thigh. And fold over the legs any amount. And just notice the difference between the right and the left side. Slow down and deepen the breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, turn all the way to the right, all the way, all the way, all the way to the right side edge of the mat. Take the feet wider. Prasarta, fold over the legs. Hands can come to the floor. Elbows bent. Lengthen the sternum away from the belly button and the crown of the head toward the floor. Nice long spine, deep breath. One more breath here. Inhale, walk the hands forward, look forward. Exhale, pivot toward the front end of the mat, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva the Mukha, both outer shoulders back. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Go back, give it a breath. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, float the right foot forward. Pivot toward the left, like prasarta, like we were before. Hold on to the tops of the feet with the hands, okay? And then bend the left knee. Keep the hands on the feet. The feet can be as close together as you need them. Bend the left knee and send the left sit bone straight back. The spine is parallel to the floor. It's a version of skandhasana. 
that really helps you access the inner right thigh. Stay for another breath. And then straighten the left leg, pivot toward the front end of the mat, step back, Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, word of Mukha. Exhale, Do Mukha. Other side, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward, pivot toward the right side edge of the mat. Okay, line the feet up, catch the tops of the feet. The feet can be as far apart as you like, but um, so that you can hold on to the tops of them, okay? Bend the right knee. So I have a little more space. I'm going to move my right foot back more. And spine is parallel to the floor. Spend the, or widen the sit bones back and apart. And inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, pivot toward the front end of the mat. Step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, word of Amukha. Spread the toes wide. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Okay, inhale, right leg up and back. Now we're gonna twist and squeeze. Exhale, I'm gonna scoot over a little so you can see the whole thing. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow. Twisting, kick the right leg underneath you. Flex the right foot, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows and hover like Chaturanga. Inhale, press back up. Now exhale, bring the sit bones down. <laughs> Spread the legs wide. Upavishta Konasan. Walk the hands forward and fold over the legs. Flex the feet. Maybe the elbows come down. Maybe you stay completely vertical. Okay, but as you come forward, the toes press back. Engage the thighs. And we're not here for very long, okay? Don't get too comfortable. Okay, let's bring the hands under the shoulders. Spin back toward the front end of the mat. Kick the legs back. Plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, don't look up. Go back. You ready for the other side? Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, twist and squeeze, left knee, right tricep. Kick the left leg straight, flex the left foot. Keep the hips and the heart square over the ground, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows. Inhale, press back up. Then exhale, come onto the sit bones. Widen the legs as far apart as they'll go. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fold over the legs. Any amount, just like before. Keep the feet flexed, reach long through the inner heels. Okay? Engage the thighs. You've got a couple more breaths to press the outer edges of the feet back, which requires engaging the outer hips, right? To open the inner groins. Stay with it. You got another breath. Okay, let's come on out. Hands under shoulders. Turn toward the front end of the mat. Step back to plank on the inhale. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, word of mukha. And exhale, go back to do mukha. Okay, step to the middle of the mat. Bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, come up with a flat back. Pause for the exhale. Okay, I'll turn towards you. You can face whatever direction you want, but just so you can see a little bit better. Inhale, reach the arms up and stretch. Exhale, fold and touch down. You're folding over the legs. Inhale, look forward. Come onto the fingertips. You can also put hands on blocks. Stand on that right foot. Lift the left leg laterally as high as it'll go. If that's easy, Catch the left big toe with the left fingers and open the leg up and out laterally. Good job, then bring the left foot down, hands to hips, inhale, come up, pause for the exhale. Hug the left knee into the chest. Okay, so use some options. You can bring the left foot to the inner right thigh, 
That's tree pose, Virchasana. As you do that though, hug the outer right hip in. Okay, you can stay there in tree, pressing the left thigh back, or catch the left big toe and extend the left leg out to the side for your Uchita Asta Padangustasana. Long through the inner leg. Good. You can stay there or start to come forward halfway. Spine and leg parallel to the floor. It's a little crazy. And then release, okay. <laughs> Whatever happened is great. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Let's try the other side. Left fingertips down, right fingertips down. Start by standing on the left leg, lift the right leg laterally. If that's pretty easy, keep the left fingertips down, catch the right big toe with the right fingers, and lift the leg laterally from there. Reach long through the inner legs. Good, bring the right foot down, hands to hips, spike the sit bones into the heels as you come up. And we'll do our Uttita Hasta Padangustasana on the other side. Hug the right knee into the chest. Pause here. Okay, establish ground through the left foot. Then you can bring the right foot into tree, right leg into tree, hands to heart. Press right thigh back, hug right buttock slush forward. Or you can catch the right big toe with the right fingers and extend the leg out. Reach long through the inner right leg. So the inner right ankle is long. Stay there, or you can start to come forward halfway. Clear the left thigh with the belly. Find a drishti. Hold the gaze. And release. Okay, good job. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs and let that go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back to plank pose. This is our last vinyasa. Inhale, look forward. Can you believe it? Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdha Mukha, Shwanasana. Exhale, Udha Mukha. Okay, big breath here. Maybe a sigh out the mouth. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Okay, turn on to the right side. Bring the right elbow directly into the right shoulder, and you're not sinking the shoulder into the ear. There's a lift, okay. Squeeze the legs together, and just line yourself up. So the right elbow with the right hip, with the, right, with the heels. Bring the left hand to the left hip, and lift the left leg laterally, foot is flexed. That's the exhale. Inhale, squeeze the legs together. Exhale, lift. Inhale, squeeze the legs together. Exhale, lift. This time, turn the left toes up. Catch the left big toe with the left fingers and draw the leg into a vertical line. So this is anantasan. Keep that right foot flexed. Heart is open, gaze toward the left toe. Inhale. And exhale, release. Flip it over. Come on to the left hip. <clears throat> Bring the left elbow directly into the left shoulder and you really want to be in a straight line, okay? You can even line yourself up against the edge of the mat. Right hand to right hip. Keep the feet flexed and lift the right leg laterally as high as it'll go. Then lower the legs, squeeze the legs together and lift. Lower the leg and lift without dropping into the left shoulder. Lift, lift, lift. Turn the right toes up. Catch the right big toe with the right fingers and bring that leg into a vertical line. Keep the left leg active and the left foot flexed. And release. Good job. Come all the way down to the belly. Downward facing dog one last time to neutralize the spine to catch a big breath. Good, and then you can bend the knees and step or jump through, and you get to lie on the back. So come on to the back. Well done, let's pause here.
Feet are on the floor, knees are bent. Now we're gonna unwind, okay? We're gonna release the outer hips. Cross the right knee over the left knee. Hug the knees into the chest. Hands can hold on to the shins. Stay there. Or flex the feet a lot, okay? And I'll, you'll catch opposite foot with hand. So my left hand naturally goes to my right foot. My right hand naturally goes to my left foot. Flex the feet, widen the feet into the hands. So the hands and the feet are resisting each other very actively. The inner ankles are really long, all right? And breathe here, you feel this in the outer hips. Soften the throat, sides of the neck. And gently release the feet, bring the left foot down, pause. And switch sides, bring the right foot down, cross the left knee over the right. Draw the knees into the chest. You can stay there, You're, you, you'll feel that there, most of you. Okay, or flex the feet a lot, catch the outer edges of the feet without letting them sickle, really lengthen the inner heels. And then as you pull the feet toward the shoulders, the feet resist. And it's really that resistance that causes an opening and like engages the stretch. It's not about how close the feet come in. It's more about the hands and feet resisting each other. Belly is soft. Okay, and release, bring the right foot down first, and then bring the left foot down, and pause here. Okay, bring left ankle to right thigh, flex the left foot, bring the left arm through the left leg, and both hands catch hold of the right shin. Okay, so the left foot stays flexed as you press the left thigh away from you. You draw the right thigh into the belly as you press the left thigh away from you. And that again will stretch the outer left hip. Slow down and deepen the breath at this point. And release the right foot down. Release the left foot down. Pause. Okay. Right ankle, left thigh, flex the right foot. Reach the arms through, catch the left shin with the hands. Keep the right foot active and flexed. As you pull the left thigh into the belly, widen the right thigh away from the low belly. Okay, and you know, all with good measure. So we're not pushing or forcing. There's no sort of brutish, brutish action here. It's that stita and sukha. It's a good architecture. It's a good honest effort that creates the sukha, the freedom. Bring the left foot down, pause there for a moment. Bring the right foot down too. Okay, give yourself a breath, neutral spine. Then hug both knees into the chest, inhale. And exhale, let the knees come to the left. As the knees roll to the left, the right arm reaches out to the right. Turn the gaze toward the right. And if it helps, you can bring the left hand to the top of the right thigh, just to anchor the thighs, not to crank into the twist any further. All right, let's let the belly soften. Relax the throat, sides of the neck, and let the lower jaw slack. This part is, the, is important, this unwind, okay? We want to teach the body that it can engage really fully in a challenging way and also then release that. The lowest part of the belly relaxes. Shoulders are on the floor. Ungrip the jaw. Let the low jaw slack so there's space between the upper and lower teeth. Okay, slowly come back, one knee and then the other. Doop, doop. Shift the hips to the left a little bit. Hug the knees into the chest on the inhale. And exhale, let the knees go to the right. 
Left arms out to the left, left shoulder blades on the floor. And you can bring the right hand to the left thigh just in a way that's sort of soothing and grounding. Roll the head, the gaze over the left shoulder and you close the eyes. And just enjoy stillness. And we do ask a lot of the physical body in this life that we live. So it's appropriate to take rest when we can, to find release where it's available, and to become skillful at how to engage and how to release and which one is appropriate when. And if we become aware of that spectrum, there's less wear and tear on the body. There's more ease and flow. Soften the jaw, relax the back of the tongue and the eyes. And find some ease. And let the body know release. And once the body really knows release and surrender and letting go, the body will find that sooner, next time when it's needed. Okay, nice and easy, left knee up, right knee up, knees are bent. Now pause, feet are on the floor. Just rock the hips left and right a little bit. Find neutral. And then you can slowly calm the hips, find center, arms out by sides, palms up. Slide the legs out for Shava. Coming to Shavasana, the ultimate deepest and most complete release, the release of the body altogether. Close the eyes. With the eyes closed, feel the heels strike the ground and relax the feet. Sense space and spaciousness in the ankles. Feel the calves widen and release into the ground. Feel sound space in the knees. Let the thighs and the hamstrings release. And let the legs succumb to gravity. And let that soothe the legs. Bones of the pelvis float and the belly relaxes in. The low back is at ease. The lungs and the abdominal organs float. The shoulders widen and drop back into the earth and the arms cascade along with them. And the shoulders and the arms are relaxed. The sides of the neck soften and drop back toward the earth. jaw completely let's go the cheeks hang back the forehead skin widens and 
there is space and spaciousness between the bones of the skull and around the brain. And the brain is flat. And the body is at ease when you let go of the body. When you leave the body by itself at rest. stay here in this pose, Shavasana, for as long as you can and as long as you like. And in gratitude for this practice, this moment, this breath, grateful for each other, grateful for this day. I'll see you next time. Namaste.